Hi, welcome to Circle Time with Mrs. Dell. That's me. Tell me your name. Hi, I'm so glad you're here with me. Today, we're going to learn about dinosaurs. Wow. The word dinosaur means terrible lizard. And they lived on Earth a very long time ago. They are now extinct. Extinct means they don't live anymore. So you don't have to worry about a dinosaur coming into your house. There were lots of different kinds of dinosaurs. Some could fly. Some could swim. Some were big. The biggest dinosaur was about the size of 17 elephants put together. Whoa! Some dinosaurs were really small. The smallest dinosaur was about the size of a chicken. Wow, that's small. Hey, let's learn about different kinds of dinosaurs. One of the most well-known dinosaurs is the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Wow! Also known as the T-Rex. This is a T-Rex right here. The words Tyrannosaurus Rex means Lizard King. T-Rexes have two small but very powerful arms with two claws on each of their hands. And one of the biggest dinosaur teeth was found from a T-Rex. It was 12 inches long. Whoa, that's the size of a ruler. That must have been a really big tooth. Our next dinosaur is called a Brontosaurus. Wow, Brontosaurus dinosaurs were one of the biggest animals to ever walk the earth. They weighed over 50,000 pounds. Wow, Brontosaurus dinosaurs are called herbivores because they only eat plants. This guy must eat a lot of plants. Our next dinosaur is the Triceratops. Wow! Tri means three and ceratops means horned face because triceratops have three horns on their face. Humans have about 32 teeth, but a triceratops had between 400 to 800 teeth throughout its lifetime. Whoa, that's a lot of teeth. Our next dinosaur is the Ankylosaurus. Wow, Ankylosaurus dinosaurs had strong pleats of body armor made out of bones to protect itself. It also had a massive tail club that was strong enough to break bones. Ankylosaurus dinosaurs were also herbivores. They only ate plants and they had very small teeth. The next dinosaur is the Allosaurus. Wow! Allosaurus means different lizard. The Allosaurus dinosaur had a big head and it walked on two legs. Its body was balanced by a long and heavy tail. Like the T-Rex, an Allosaurus had two short arms and it had curvy claws on its hands. An Allosaurus was a carnivore. It was a meat eater like the T-Rex and it had big sharp teeth. Our last dinosaur is the Stegosaurus. Wow, it's easy to tell a Stegosaurus because they had two rows of kite shaped plates on their back and spikes on their tails. I have two Stegosaurus dinosaurs right here. Can you see the plates on their backs and the spikes on their tails? Wow! Paleontologists are scientists who study fossils. Fossils are really, really old parts of plants or animals like dinosaurs. Let's be paleontologists and look for fossils. I'm going to use my brush, so I'm very careful to help preserve the bones. Let's dig around. I think I found something. I wonder what it is. Wow, I found a Triceratops. 
Let's take a closer look. Oh my goodness, I see three horns on the head. Wow, let's keep digging for fossils. I wonder what I'm going to find. I think I see something. Oh my, wow, look at this. This dinosaur is a Dimetrodon. Look at its back, wow. Let's look for more fossils. I wonder what I'm going to find. Whoa, I think I see something. It looks really big. Wow, I found a Brontosaurus. I'm gonna take a closer look. Look at that long neck. That was fun to be a paleontologist and dig for fossils. Let's try a dinosaur science experiment. I have baking soda on my tray and I'm gonna pour hot lava on top. It's actually vinegar with red food coloring, but when the vinegar meets the baking soda, there should be a chemical reaction. Let's try it. I'm gonna pour it over the volcano. Whoa, look, it's erupting. Watch out, dinosaurs. Wow, can you hear it fizzling and bubbling? Look at that. Wow. More hot lava for the dinosaurs. That's amazing. It's time for our book. Today our book is called Dinosaurs, a prehistoric touch and feel adventure. Let's read it. Long neck stretches, short legs stomp, short arms wave, but sharp teeth chomp, chomp, chomp. Fuzzy fur, bumpy scales, feathery wings, and spiky tails. Underwater, in the air, in the forest. Look out, beware! Wow, a T-Rex! Yawning, snoring, sleepy head. Twinkling stars means it's time for bed. Dinosaurs big, dinosaurs small, join in the hunt. Can you find them all? Wow! Look at all those dinosaurs. What a great book. You wait right there. I'm gonna put this back on my bookshelf. Far. 
So then there were six, six stomping dinosaurs who danced a crazy jive, but one got tangled up. So then there were five, five feisty dinosaurs stamping on the floor. Quiet down, cried someone's mom. And then there were four, four fearless dinosaurs swinging from a tree. But one got stuck. So then there were three, three thundering dinosaurs who flapped and almost flew. One took off. So then there were how many? Two, two testy dinosaurs, tired of all the fun. One got taken home. So then there was one, one weary dinosaur who soon began to snore. His friends sneaked up behind him and suddenly yelled, Roar! That was a great book. Can you count down from 10 again with me? Show me your 10 fingers. Let's do it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, Zero! It's time for some jokes. Why did the dinosaur cross the road? Mm. To eat the chickens on the other side. <laughs> what do you call a dinosaur who's sleeping? A dinosaur! <laughs> What did the dinosaur use to make a big boom? What did the dinosaur use to make a boom? Dynamite! <laughs> Why don't you see dinosaurs at Easter? Why don't you see dinosaurs at Easter? Because they're extinct! <laughs> extinct! <laughs> Those were some good dinosaur jokes. Thanks for joining me for Circle Time with Mrs. Dell. I had a dynamite time with you. See you again next time. Bye.